Hello there gamers, welcome to another Respawn Rants on a very very busy day of videos on MyGamesLounge.com. We went to EGX uh, the other week and had a fantastic time and today on MyGamesLounge.com you can see lots of indie games in the indie game update with 10 uh, fantastic indies from the show. There were loads loads more and there will be more on MyGamesLounge.com but we've got 10 for you today that I thought were uh, standout indies. Um, we've also just rushed through um, EA's presence at uh, EGX as well along with Sony and Microsoft that's in a video together talking about them as well as the other games that were there including uh, Just Cause 3 from Square Enix and um, Homefront Revolution which is a huge step forward for Homefront compared to the original and uh, now it's gone on to Deep Silver's uh, publishing line so that was really cool but for this one we're focusing on Ubisoft. Ubisoft have got some big games coming up both this year and next and they've kind of had to learn a few lessons from last year have Ubisoft where they made a rushed attempt to get Assassin's Creed Unity out which I maintain and I will say this for the record of mygameslounge.com I reviewed it and it is a good game it is a good example of an Assassin's Creed it's one of the better ones I didn't find it boring at all I liked the story and I personally didn't get a lot of the bugs that were out there although there were a lot of bugs out there and Ubisoft needed to do far more testing for it far more um, shall we say getting those kinks out of it way before release because I think Unity would have had a completely different opinion if, if they'd have got that right if they delayed it even a month just to get those things right but they didn't and they've got to learn from that so obviously I went with a vested interest to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Why? Well it's set in my home country of course. It might be down with them southerners um, as we like to say up north. But we love you really on mygameslounge.com. I'm just playing. No, they, they, it's set down in, down in London. Down in London. And uh, yeah, the, the voices in it are actually a bit cheesy like that. Um, really, really cheesy kind of London all right, my old governor, yeah, I've got to get my old cup of tea, yeah, it's brilliant, yeah, apples and pears, all that, yeah, it's great. You know, the, the voice actors don't sound quite naturally London. Um, but uh, I, I picked up the game, and what's probably got to be a very, very poor demo choice for an event, I have to say, it was the Eevee gameplay, which is cool. I like that. I like the fact that you can play as a female character in an Assassin's Creed. She's maybe, she's she kind of joint lead, if you like, with her brother, and it was nice to play a bit of a different character. But it was set at night, and it was on older code as well. So it didn't quite feel like a game that was about to release to me. Um, but I did speak to the Ubisoft guys just for clarification, and they did say it was made way, way, way back in the year. So we were talking pff, bordering on nine month old code that was kind of you know put together for all the conferences this year so i'm not reading too much into the graphics of the game because it did look it didn't look too much of a step up to be honest with you it, unity looked better uh, by the time it was finished so we'll, we'll leave that one but gameplay wise there were a lot of improvements there really were um there's a lot of emphasis now on more hand-to-hand -hand combat evie's got like a stick rather than a sword or anything so it's a the combat feels a little bit more shall we say um, blunt you know you've got that kind of impact and I was talking to uh, one of the Ubisoft um, PR gentlemen who was talking about what the, the developers have wanted to do was reflect the location so obviously they've moved forward they moved to London and it was all about kind of hand-to-hand -hand, you know combat with with bare knuckle fighting and knuckle dusters and, and and knives and that kind of combat so with this assassin's creed you can see that immediately and you can see the kind of grittiness to it as well uh, like i said a little bit bordering on cheesy with some of the accents and the voice cast that i was uh, listening to so far but it was really really nice to play with a grapple um you you could launch yourself not only up but across you could use it as a kind of a, a point winch to get from a to b it was it was a nice bit of something different um i've got to be honest it still feels very assassin's creed -y, and the old code didn't do it any favors as far as being you know neat and tidy um i reserve judgment on how it's going to play until i play the final build but 
there's a lot of promise to it, Assassin's Creed fans. If you like Assassin's Creed games and you're going to buy them regardless, you're not going to be bothered what I say one way or the other. If you're one of those people that are kind of, ooh, I don't know about Assassin's Creed, I would say that if you're you're British and you want to play this one because it's set in London, I think we, we could be in for a good game here, just on the subtle hints. But, ugh. I, I, I'm just the old code I, I know I should be ignoring it. it it just feels a little bit rustic for me I hope they've made huge strides in the last nine months to kind of make it look a lot more polished gameplay wise everything flowed very nicely and I, I also like the fact that they really concentrated more on being able to climb down not just up because a lot of the Assassin's Creed motions are to go upwards getting down can be quite tricky unless there's a you know, a convenient hay bale around. I'm not sure there were that many hay bales in um, in London at the Industrial Revolution, so I wonder what you'll dive into. Um, but, but, but some eels, some eels, pack of eels. Um, but no, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, very interesting the premise still, not utterly convinced by the game that I played, but I like the improvements that they made in the gameplay, and I like the the whole kind of... This is your assassination target. Here's the sandbox. Here are some things that you can do if you want to. And there's unique kills as well. I, I like that. I like that's good. And I like the female character. I like Evie. She was cool to control. She was a bit different. And I, I like the brutal combat. So positives. But I'm just a bit wary, to be honest. And it's a good thing to be wary with Assassin's Creed. Because you never quite know what level you're going to hit with it. Hopefully, being set in the UK, it's a good one. Now, I moved on. And I played... Oh... One of my favourite games of the entire event was The Division. Um, and I didn't even feel like I played a good bit. I finally got to grips with this game. I've been looking forward to this game for a while. I keep quiet on things that I really like because I don't want to know too much about it. But it was good to play. Um, I played the mission that was at E3. Again, this is all code that Ubisoft had made earlier in the year. So it was it was considerably old when I was playing it. And there was a difference here. This is where the, the old code of Assassin's Creed compared to the old code of the Division was two very different animals. This looked remarkable. First thing I did whilst the guy was coaching us through is I, I looked up and the skyscrapers are huge. You feel like you're in this kind of run-down city. You really do feel like in a built-up area. And then I tested out my weapon on one of the cars and it punctured the glass and it made a perfect bullet hole exactly where my bullet had gone in. But not only that, it made a really nice exit hole where my bullet had gone out and then it dented into the car behind it. That kind of detail is cool. And the guy was talking about how much the engine is kind of responsive to you. So if you interact with the environment, it is all going to do something. Nothing's going to just kind of ignore you, if you like. You might not be able to destroy everything. Obviously, you couldn't bring a skyscraper down, I don't think. But um, it's kind of all reactive, and I liked that. It looked really good, but again, for old code, it's, it's lacking a layer of polish, maybe. But people were soon criticising um, the Division after E3, saying, oh, they've downgraded it again. I just think it's just the code that they've used. I mean, if, they, if they're making a trailer, they're going to use the best FMV and the, the best gameplay footage running on a top PC they possibly can. I mean, that's, that's what I'd do. Um, but for obviously demoing purposes, they just need it to work. They don't necessarily need it to have all those layers of polish on it. Um, but it still looked really, really good. And I think this was, you know, pre-alpha kind of footage from the game. So it was, it was cool. Um, Gameplay-wise, I was playing in a team of three. Um, we were taking on uh, both PvE and PvP uh, in the Dark Zone. We went in, learned how to, to use our weapons and our special abilities. I had this really cool, like, tracking grenade that when you threw it, it would, um, if you were in the vicinity of a person, it would just follow them and get them and hit their ankle and blow them up. Um, and, yeah, there, there were some enemies around, and I was struck immediately by the AI. We tried to creep up on them and one of them heard something. We must have caught like something on the floor in the environment moving too fast instead of got casually creeping up and they heard something crunch. Maybe it was just even the ice crunching, I don't know. Um, and yeah, they were on us straight away. And they were really aggressive, really aggressive AI. And as soon as and I took one out, I, I did a really, I just got up and I did a really good shot on one of them and took them down. Um, and as soon as one of his buddies went down, he... he just dived straight into a really good cover position and started camping and this is the ai i was impressed by that now i was also impressed by the combat from my perspective because i'm 
I feel like a human. I don't feel like COD where I'm I'm flying around like some kind of possessed, <laughs> you know, a soldier ghost that can float around a, a map. I mean, you know, I've got a rocket launch on my back, but I can move really, really quickly. No, I, I felt heavy. I felt um, like the things that I was carrying were, were weighing me down. I felt like it was cold and I needed to keep warm, so I was wearing a big coat. And I've also felt like I was shooting a gun that had some meat behind it because when, when you know, it landed, when I got the shots in, it hit nice. And there was a lot of emphasis on cover. So it was like a cover third person shooter. Um, bit of Gears of War about it. Um, I like it. I, I just really like it. Mainly because it's a game for me. Um, but for the multiplayer aspect, which I'm not generally involved with. But because of the RPG-ness of this game and the, the cover based third person shooter of this game, I love it. Now after the uh, PvE bit, we went on to the PvP bit. Um, that's, that's a bit of a tongue twister for player versus player and there were, there's an extraction point where you, you kind of you've taken on the enemies you picked up their loot and you're trying to extract it so there are other teams there trying to extract as well now you've obviously normally you've got a choice you can just take your loot and say hey how you doing and make friends and maybe uh, play a game with them or you can go rogue and take them on or you can not go rogue and not take them on and run the risk that they will go rogue and take you on um, and if you're rogue, you get bonuses if you um, get the loot. But if you go rogue and they get you, uh, there's there's quite a lot of penalties involved. Like you've got a much longer respawn time, and you lose. You, you know they gain more from killing you because you're the rogue agent kind of thing. But what they did was they just said, "Do you know what? This is a demo. We want to see what it's like PvP. There you go, attack each other. They kind of forced it upon us. So." We were all trying to extract our loot and there were three teams. We were all shooting at each other and having a great old time. And because it's in this kind of the same map that you're playing in the game, you've got this really nice um, congested area where the multiplayer is going on. But it all kind of seemingly, seem, seamlessly joins together. I loved it. And there was, there was some moments where I got... That, you know shut out and my guys had to rescue me my guys would get down i'd have to rescue them there were people coming in i'd turn rogue because of like ah oh, remember you killed me before so i'm going to kill you it was good i enjoyed it i i have very 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 positive high thoughts of the division um you should certainly keep an eye on my games lounge for more coverage on the division uh, it's certainly going to hop up hot up as it comes to you know the the beginnings of next year when it's coming out definitely one to watch looking outstanding uh, rainbow six siege i don't want to go too much into this because we've been playing the beta and i want to do that separately but uh, rainbow six siege is an interesting one because it's all based on these hostage situations that you can play in multiplayer or you can play against bots obviously if you want to there's a bit of a training element to it i'm not sure you'd want to do that generally speaking you probably need to play the multiplayer um no story mode which is interesting uh, but we, yeah, it dropped in in a. I'm not sure if the beta is actually better than the demo at EGX. But either way, it's a cracking game. It's it's really really good. You've got this lovely tactical kind of element to it. Um, we're taking on. I, I took on the challenge of rescuing the hostage rather than uh, keeping the hostage. And yeah, you know, just the infiltration mechanics that you can do. You can zip wires. You, you talk to each other. You talk to how you're going to approach things. Um, so yeah. That is um, one game certainly to watch this year. I think it's going to be one of the best shooters of the year, to be honest. That and, and Battlefield. Uh, sorry, Star Wars Battlefront. It's not Battlefield at all. No, it's Star Wars Battlefront. Um, so Ubisoft showing off some very, very strong games at EGX. Wonderful conference. More coming up on mygameslounge.com uh, on Ubisoft and all things coming up this year and next year. And we will be seeing you on mygameslounge.com.